Hello everyone, my name is Madvader DX UK and I want to welcome you to this video where I'm talking about um, the latest firmware version for the TEA6686 that's come out, uh, which is the version 2.20. Okay, latest stable version after many uh, beta uh, releases. Okay then, so I've already got it installed in my TEF6686. Installation process is exactly the same as before as my last tutorial uh, video um, for the TEF6686 and installing um, the uh, firmwares itself away from the original firmwares. Um, link will be in the description below. I'll also be linking the original tutorial video I had because the latest one I did update some of the out-of-date stuff that the original tutorial video have. So just to let you be uh, aware. But the process is still pretty much um, the same, like I said, from my last tutorial video. Okay then, so I've got it installed already, the latest stable 2.20 uh, version. Let's switch on this radio. As you can see there, V2.20, okay. And there we are, working really, really nicely indeed. RDS, RDS information for FM stations coming out very, very quickly. Um, I've had a play around and it's very nice indeed. I highly recommend getting this uh, version 2.20, the stable version. It's not only available as well on the, the TEF Discord group, but it's also available on the GitHub, uh, GitHub page, which I'll link as well in the uh, description below. So there's some things that I really like about this radio. I'm not going to go through everything. I'm just going to show you um, some of the uh, stuff that I found that I really like compared to other versions. One thing I like, so let's go into the menu, okay? And what you can do is you can change the way the menu comes out, okay? So press, remember, press the um, the tuning button in to make your selection, okay? And let's say, for example, to change the way the menu is displayed, you go in here, model sector, okay? So we're just gonna press in the tuning button again, and you can change it round to portable, or you can change it to portable touch. So portable is more or less what, what I found the same as base, but also as well, you can change it to portable touch, okay? There we go, and look, it, you can change the way, like I said, the way the menu comes out. This is meant to be for more for uh, touch screen functionality, but I can tell you is that I've had a go at trying to make the, uh, make the touch screen functionality uh, work with uh, this unit, my unit of the TEF6686, and it does not work, okay? So it only works on specific versions of the TEF6686. TEF6, um, I know on AliExpress they've been advertising uh, TEF6686 uh, radios that have touchscreen functionalities. Do have a look out on that and do make sure the advert specifies that it has touchscreen functionality if you want a TEF6686 with touch screen functionality. So in order to make it work with the radio you have that does have touch screen functionality, you have to select portable touch, okay? But like I said, it doesn't work and you have to do a calibration process as well, uh, I believe, in order for it to work. Let me just show you something very quickly. In order to access the touch, touch screen calibration, you press these two buttons in the mode and the bandwidth button, press them both at the same time, have your radio off, switch on your radio, and there you go. You have to press this button here, uh, sorry, this arrow here for some time on the screen in order to get the radio to calibrate. But like I said, I've tried it and it doesn't work, okay? So if uh, you try to uh, make uh, your TEF6686 work with touchscreen uh, functionality, it doesn't work, well, just, let you, just to let you be aware that not all of the radios itself uh, have um, a working touchscreen, okay? So there, so let's switch it on again. And there's something else I want to show you too, and that and this for me is the biggest improvement um, in terms of what I regularly use my TEF6686, and that is um, switching uh, bandwidth, um, the bandwidth filters on this uh, radio for the FM band. Bandwidth filters you use it to uh, try and reduce interference from strong, strong stations on adjacent uh, frequencies. So let me show you here. So what it is is, I, before I show you. In uh, the old way to uh, change bandwidth uh, filter was you had to press this button here, the middle one, the, the bandwidth button, and you had to cycle through all the bandwidths until you got your the one you wanted, okay? And that was an absolute pain and it was very time consuming um, uh, to do. But um, with this new method, all you do is just press this button, uh, the bandwidth button, the middle one once very quickly. Look at this, you can instantly so, uh, cycle through and select which bandwidth you want to use. Okay, my favorite is the auto one because the auto bandwidth selection 
the automatic process on this uh, TF6686 is very precise and works great but if you don't want it you can always you know use a specified you know specific one itself so you just cycle through with the tuning button okay just scroll through until you want the you know get the one you want and you can also uh, take away the IMS the suppressing uh, feature and also the EQ feature okay you can uh, have it on and off you can do it through here rather than say um, you know uh, remove it the old math uh, the old uh, fashion method which was um, you know pressing I think it was pressing the tuning button itself okay but you can do it here just by pressing this middle button the button with um, uh, button very quickly press it like that and there you go scroll through with the tuning button and there you are and I'm just going to select auto well it's already selected anyway right there we go and we just exit we can exit as well with the menu button there you go and there we are okay and yeah and there you see look it's changing bandwidth automatically okay so that's a great thing indeed the women saw much less of each other during the war huh. this is a ba bbc radio 4 relay that's at outside my city i'm indoors i'm using my telescopic antenna and my word this radio is so sensitive it is picking it up itself and look the auto bandwidth bit feature is kicking in changing bandwidth depending you know um if it's needed or not and yeah working very nicely um you know very working very nicely as it should and let's go back to my uh, local bbc radio 4 uh, relay okay so then uh my advice is that if you've got a tef6686 and you want the best firmware out there do get the 2.20 uh, version uh, itself and again like i said um if you want to get this installed um look at my tutorial videos in the description below and if you have any more questions more technical questions please don't ask me because because people keep asking me questions about the tf6686 i'm not the most technical of persons to ask go ask in the tef discord group go on discord join it and you'll get some very helpful people there okay so there we are all right then so thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in another video